outers. I am one of you. See, I was barely six years old the first time I went airborne. Trying to sleep. While the adults in the other room were at each other's throat. And as I dove deep, I fell asleep, not afraid of the abyss, for I used to fall and fail every day. Hell, I used to fall and fail until wings grew out of my backbone, catching the wind as they spread open and just took off. Hoisted up like a flag, tolling in the eyes of a whirlwind, flaring up every time gravity tried to pull me down. And underneath my feet, the world became smaller until it became but the size of a host, holding it in the palms of my hands as I gazed into infinity. As I gazed into infinity, I began to place the limits of reality against what could not be grasped. And I laughed at the absurdity of it all. For when we are long gone and forgotten, the universe will still exist. And from the depth of my organs, I wished that I could cease time. Rise and rise until my body splits into particles of space dust only to be seen by those who lost their gift of flight. And I would watch over my father and all the other drunks running around this goddamn earth and I would put a smile on my mother's face, burn her depression and I would wipe the tears off her cheeks whisper in her ear, shh, it's gonna be all right. And that's why I don't want to wake up sometimes, for I don't want to stop flying, for up there, I'm good. Up there, I can do anything. Up there,